Hi, this is Dennis, and I'd like to talk about what happens when you have multiple batteries in series in terms of balancing. Let's say we've got four BB112 batteries and we connect them positive to negative, positive to negative, and positive to negative in order to extract 48 volts out of this battery bank. Now, inside each one of these battery packs is four cells in series, or four groups of cells in series. Now, each one has a battery management system that makes sure that all the cells remain in balance. At the top of the charge cycle, balancing happens and the cells are always in balance. Now, the same thing can't necessarily be said when you have four battery packs in series because there's no bleed resistor that will allow the higher state of charge packs to bleed down to meet the lower state of charge packs. First of all, it's okay because even though there's no external balancing, the internal balancing will actually create external balancing. Let's say, for example, that this battery is a little bit higher in terms of state of charge. That means that when you get to the top of the charge cycle, around 57 volts or so, this battery could exceed its 14.4 volt limit and maybe get closer to 15 volts. In that case, you could have all of the cells above the prescribed threshold internally, and they would all start to bleed down. So this battery is actually bleeding down to meet the other ones, and that tends to keep this bank in balance. Now, there are ways to accelerate that process. For example, you can use a multi-bank charger to make sure that on every charge cycle, each one is at the same state of charge. But generally speaking, if you've got a 48 volt bank and you are keeping them regularly at around 57 volts on each charge cycle, then they will remain in balance. It is possible that you will exceed the high voltage limit on one of them. If one cell exceeds that threshold, it will cut off the charging current to all of them. And since you could have a little bit of an imbalance caused by all sorts of reasons, for example, temperature extremes or high loads, then it's possible that that cutoff happens even lower than 57.6 volts, which is our target charging voltage. It could happen at 57.2 volts or lower. In that case, there is nothing wrong with lowering that bulk absorption voltage down to 57 volts or even lower until that cutoff stop, stops happening, and then over time raising it up because the, ba the batteries will become more and more imbalanced. So to sum up, even though there is no external balancing, the internal balancing will actually provide some external balancing, keeping the packs in balance with each other in a series system such as 24, 36, or 48 volts.